Okay, hello. All right. Let's talk about the newest Treasure Hunter promotion and uh, where it might where it might lead for the future of RS3. So, if I open up the Treasure Hunter uh, thing here, this promo, I th believe, is the first promo in a very long time. Like, there might have been one in the past that I just don't remember, but definitely within the last, like, few years, there has not been a promo that works like this. So, before, you would do the Treasure Hunter promo, and you would have, like, a ridiculously low chance, usually, like, 1 in 10k or less, to get the item. Uh, and then if you got the item, you could sell it, and the GE, or use it. So, there, there are good things and bad things to that model. The good thing is that, well, the only really good thing to that model is you're able to buy the the like thing from the treasure hunter from another player um usually for i mean it is it it, it is going to be expensive because it is rare but not like absurdly expensive because you know just cuz the drop rate the drop rate is a 1 in 10,000 the chance of you getting it is extremely low but the number but since like you know there's so many people that play the game, especially on especially on all accounts. There will probably be like you know thousands of these walks coming into the game, and people are just gonna sell them because they want to have like you know five hundred mil or something. So you could play the game, just make five hundred mil, and then just buy it from a dude in the Grand Exchange. Um. The downside, of course, is the chances of you getting the thing that you want by yourself with keys is extremely low. Um, and also, I think that is, you know, slightly a downside to Jagex as well. Because I'll be honest, if I'm Jagex, I'm looking at the analytics of the old Treasure Hunter promos. The people that are, like, buying keys, they're not actually buying the keys for the, for, like, the whatever the new promoted item is because you know they'd rather just if, if they wanted the item you wouldn't buy 10,000 keys to get it you would just buy like five bonds sell the bonds and then just buy the thing off the GE so I think the people really buying the keys mostly are people that I mean would still like the item but also they have XP to get because treasure hunter is mostly just there as of you know a way to get a frick ton of bonus XP and XP into the game, really. Anyways, so why is this so much different? Well, the newest promo, the two outfits here... Oh, I freaking misclicked. So anyways, why is it so different? Well, these two outfits here, um, if I go look at the promo prizes, you cannot get them from, like... You can't get them from, like, just, like, opening a single key and just get the outfit. You instead need to keep rolling, like, these two sides, and they'll get you these tokens. And I'll pull them from my bank. Uh, I think I have them somewhere. Here. So every time you... You complete one of these sides... You, I think you get, like, one to three of these tokens. I don't know why there's a roll on it. I guess because Jagex needs gacha in the game somehow. You get these tokens, and then you open the tokens, and then you can use them to buy the, uh, the pieces here. So, and then the pieces, like, these are not tradable at all. So, basically, the, the biggest difference with this promo is that in order for you... To get the promoted items, you have to get used keys. Like, there's literally no way around it. I think maybe unless... Unless you are, like, ridiculously lucky and you can buy 15 keys a day with the oddments, but 
they just they just nerfed how many ottomans you get so let's be real you're probably not gonna this is not gonna be sustainable like you're not gonna get you're not gonna be able to buy 15 keys every day for like longer than like a, f a couple of weeks like you'll just run out of ottomans or like let's say i wanted to buy the assassin walk i still could buy it in the ge right now it would just be like really expensive whereas this is like if i wanted to get this like outfit after this promo is gone i can't get it at all um so what so basically this is a humongous transformation from previous treasure hunter promos because again you have to use keys so let's say i wanted the outfit and i don't want to spend like i don't want to use my credit card i have to buy bonds and bonds are going to go up in price because of this But I will, I will say, I will say, the number of keys to get these is is not actually that much. So let me, let me, let me see. So let's say I really want this Raziel outfit. So I need twenty three of these tokens to get the whole outfit, and then I would assume I also need twenty three to get this outfit, right? Yeah. So every time I, I you know, defeat this side, which is eight keys, I get one to three of them. So I theoretically, you know, I, 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 I can't do the math, like, off the top of my head that quickly, but it, it's, it's like, anywhere from, like, 230 keys is, like, the maximum, right? So I'm not 230. Whatever eight times 23 is to, like, that, then that divided by three. It's it's actually not that many keys, but it's different because like it, it's it's something that you have to do. Like there's literally no other way to get it. It is a lot less keys than before, but I still think, especially because like getting ottomans is gonna be way harder to get now. I think that like your your oddman stash of keys is going to run out like really fast like it's it's going to be gone in like a few weeks so this just just like ignore this you basically have to spend you know i don't know let me look at the prices let me let me go on runescape freaking treasure hunter real fast so 200 keys is $60 so i'm assume $60 to get this okay now, that's pretty bad, and I think, I think they've, I think they've gone, they just went the full, they went the full Genshin Impact route, you know what I mean? Where they're just putting this stuff up for a limited time, and uh, they're like, uh, spend some money for us and then you get it okay let me look at the price let me look at the price of bonds um do i have any bonds i don't but let me just kind of redeem it even though i don't have any for keys keys how do i look at keys bro okay so one bond is 15 keys so let's just say I want 200 keys. Okay, let's do 195. Let's be generous. 195 keys is what? 13 bonds. So 13 bonds, if they cost 100 mil each, is 1.3 bill. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, okay. This is probably worse. This is probably worse than before. Because before, I don't think anything that came out in Treasure Hunter would be 1.3 bill. So like if I wanted to if I really wanted the Raziel outfit, I would have to spend 1.3 bill on bonds to get it without spending $60 IRL. Yeah, that's uh that's quite steep. And before, let's say I want the Raziel outfit. Uh I would just have to, let's just I'm gonna assume it costs 500 mil, but let's just be Let's just be extremely, extremely uh, generous to Jags. Let's just say, let's just say the new promo thing costs a one bill. I would have if I were to buy bonds to get one bill, 
I mean, I guess it would be 10 bonds, which is $80. So, so yeah. I guess my overall thoughts on this new Treasure Hunter change, which, you know, this, this change could be just every promo now, from now on, where it's just, you can't, you can't buy it from another player. Like, you have to buy keys, aka bonds, or or a credit card. One or the other. Uh, yeah. I mean, if... So, if I'm, if I'm looking at this from Jagex's point of view, I think the perspective from, from looking at it as a business, it definitely makes sense because it didn't make sense before that you wouldn't be incentivized to buy keys when a new promo comes out you'd be incentivized to buy bonds and then that would just crash the price of bonds because people are just buying bonds and just selling them right whereas now is like okay i have to i have to buy keys now to get the thing so i understand why they did it and if i'm being honest I I would like to look at this game from a perspective that's not just the consumer. Even though I am only a consumer, like I don't have any freaking vested interest into Jagex as a company, other than the fact that like if the company does well, then maybe maybe they freaking pump out more content, right? That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, so I. So if I see them making a good business decision, I think that's overall a good thing. But the question is, it is like kind of a minus to the players, but is it a minus to the players enough to where it outweighs th them making a good business decision? I don't really know. Um, I guess that's all up to you, you guys to speculate on your own. Like, is this so anti-consumer that like, I hate them now? Like, like, frick them. From my point of view, I don't think it's that bad. Like, the FOMO is predatory, yeah. But, you know, unless, unless you know, the freaking laws of the world, you know, dictate that, God, delete FOMO. There's always going to be FOMO in freaking almost every modern game now. Especially every live service game, right? So I'm I'm kind of neutral to this change. Like, because I'm the kind of person where, like, if I see a Treasure Hunter promo thing that I want, like, I'll just get it. Like, however. So this is, like, again, I did the math. I don't think, I, I think if you were going to just get it, it's not that much of a difference. Hey guys, post edit fish here. Uh, there's one more thing that I want to address that I don't think I covered very well, and that's that the fact that we have to now use keys in order to buy all the new promotions, it removes the freedom of market that the players used to have to determine the values of each treasure hunter promo item. And now it's only determined by Jagex. So whatever, you know, key price that they set for the new items, that's just how much it costs. And we, we can't really, you know, make bonds go lower. So they set the price, which is definitely a pretty, you know, overall negative impact to new cosmetics. So... I think my overall opinion of the new change is on the more negative side, knowing that now. But yeah, let me uh, know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, be sure to drop a like if you like these kind of discussions and subscribe. And thanks everyone for watching.